Hey everyone, Teo here. Today I want to show you how you can use keyboard shortcuts to improve your workflow when it comes to drawing with concepts on Windows. If you are using concepts on iPad and Android tablets, just note that some of the keyboard shortcuts and features are not available, at least at the time of making this video. And this video is going to benefit those who are using concepts on Windows and are drawing on pen tablets or pen displays that do not support touch that do not support finger gestures. If you are currently using a tablet that has a touch screen, you may not need to use keyboard shortcuts, but some of the keyboard shortcuts are actually quite useful. So shown on the side are the keyboard shortcuts you can use with concepts on Windows. If you want to see the full list of shortcuts, you can go into concepts, tap on this settings button here, go to interaction and tap on this edit shortcuts button. You will be able to see all the shortcuts here and if you tap on any shortcut you can actually customize those shortcuts with your own keyboard shortcuts. Alright, let me show you how I usually set up my workspace and shortcuts before I start drawing. If you look at the tool wheel here you can see eight tools together with the shortcuts for undo and redo. Each tool here corresponds to a number on the keyboard. So if you press one, it will be the first tool, two for the second tool, three for the third tool, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can use this to switch between the tools very quickly. So before I start drawing, I want to set up some tools first. I'm going to press one, two times, and this pop-up box will appear. So let me select the tool, which is a pen, and tap on this cross to close the box. It used to be possible to press the escape button to close that box but now you have to use the pen to close it or the finger to close it. So let me set up tool number two and three. I'm going to press two two times and select the pen again and close this and press three two times and select the pen. So I have three pens here right now. I want thicker lines for the second and third pen at two points and three points respectively. So I can use two to select pen number two, tap here, press enter to go into the box and type the point that I want. So it's two points. And you can use the arrow to move around to input other numbers or shortcuts that you want. To switch to the other two now, you have to use the pen. You cannot use the shortcut three. So let me just uh, use the pen here, tap here and tap here and press enter again. So this will be three points. Unfortunately, you cannot use escape to go out. So you have to tap away. So now I have three pens here. The next three tools are already set to the fill tool. If you want to change the color, you can use alternate six to call up the wheel. So you can change it to some other color. Let's have it green. So now let's draw something. I'm going to use tool number three, the three point line to draw. So let me use the keyboard shortcut three to draw. So this is a box with very thick lines. Let me switch to two to draw another box behind with thinner lines. Let me undo that. Okay, let me switch to one to draw another box with even thinner line. So you can use the keyboard shortcuts one, two, three to eight to switch between all these tools very easily. And now I want to color the boxes. Now to move around, you can press the space bar, hold down the space bar and move the pen around. If you want to zoom in and out, you can press the S button to zoom in and out by dragging the pen on the display while the button is held down. Or you can use the plus and minus button to zoom in and out. If you need to rotate, just press the R button and now you can rotate. There will also be snapping. Okay, let's color this. I'm going to press 4 to color this box green. It would be good if your sorting is set to automatic so that the colors will automatically be added onto the fill layer. And when you're drawing, the lines will automatically be added to the lines or the pen layer. 
So let's color this box green. Let me press 5 to switch to a different color. If you don't need the pens now, you can actually just swap out those two. So I'm going to press 1 two times. I'm going to switch that to this darker green color. I turn it 6 to call up the wheel again. Let's have this darker green. Oops. And use that to color this side of the box. Now some of the colors are actually outside of the box. Let me just move this around. Press space bar. And as to zoom in, you can see the colors are actually outside of the box. So I want to erase this. Let me press 8. And let me just erase this. Oops, accidentally erased the line, which I want to keep. So let me just undo. And while I'm erasing, make sure to select the active area. Sorry, the active layer. So now I'm only erasing the color layer. Yep, so this is one way you can use to erase the colors or anything you want specifically without erasing uh, the other layers. The other way you can use to erase the colors without affecting other elements is to lock specific objects. So I want to lock the lines so as to protect the line. So let me just tap on this pen layer and tap again, use the arrow tool to select all the lines and use the keyboard shortcut control L to lock. So now it says that the selection is locked. So now when I erase, I can erase the colors and again, the lines will not be affected. And if you need to unlock elements, the quick way to do so is to Use the keyboard shortcut Control A. It will say part of the selection is locked. Just tap unlock and all the things, all the items will be unlocked. If you want to increase the brush size, for example, if this line is too thin and you want to increase it, you can press either the square brackets or the comma and period to adjust the brush size. So with Windows, it's actually the period button. So now I can get thicker lines, and this is even thicker lines. If I want to reduce it, I can press the comma button to reduce it. So this will allow you to change the brush size very quickly. If you want to draw a straight line, but you find that your line is not that straight, you can press the keyboard shortcut alternate period to make the line more rigid and you will see the number here jump. So let me press that. So now it's zero and now it's 100%. So now you can draw a straight line with that. And that's how I use those shortcuts to create this sketch. I have the three pens with one, two and three points respectively to draw the thick lines and the thinner lines. And I have the fill tools set to other tools so that I can add the colors very quickly. And this is the sketch that I have.